Okay, SS says, hey Bruce, just want to let you know um, I'm starting in the my next job in two weeks. Your ISO, your ISO and security control program really helped me out. Well, that's great, man. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. I need to put your endorsement on my site. Give me more people to get into it. it says, uh, even your free videos are great. Highly recommended. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. If you have any questions on your way up, let me know. What's the difference between an ISO and an ISSM? Okay, this is an easy one. Anyway, what is the main difference between an ISO and an ISSM? Okay, so one, an ISO is um, Information System Security Officer. And an ISSM is an Information System Security Manager. The difference is normally the ISSO is a subordinate to the ISSM. The ISSM is usually somebody who is appointed by C-level execs. They're, they're appointed by the CIO or the office of the CIO or somebody high up. They are given their appointment and their responsibilities by written like a written letter saying that this person is the, the ISSM. They're doing things like they're going to meetings determining if the security controls that you're putting on the system meet the re business requirements. They're looking at things like, what's our budget for this quarter? They're looking at things like, did we complete everything we're supposed to do in our organization or for our company? They're looking out for the interest of the company who's doing the controls, the organization who's doing the requirements. They're doing all management type stuff, dealing with procurement, money, making sure that everybody has what they need to do their job, and they are the boss or the supervisor of the information system security officer, and they, the information system security manager, usually appoints the information system security officer. They're the person who hires them, supervises, and or manages the information system security officer. The information system security officer, as you probably already know, is the person who is interpreting the controls to make sure that the organization is meeting the standards or the federal guidelines that they're supposed to do. If they're doing it for the Department of Defense, there's certain rules that they have to abide by and the ISO is responsible for that. Their main job is to help with minimizing the risk to the organization. So I hope that answers your question. That's the difference between, between those two things. and. Uh, I've actually had a taste of both of those, mostly ISO work. It's the ISSM is when somebody, they have people underneath them. So I have one last question. I always look to progress in my career. And what would be the next step you would recommend after being an ISO? So it really depends. For, from the ISO, you can do a couple different things. It really depends on what you want to do. You can go into management. You can go from an ISO to an information system security manager and then have people underneath you. You could, from ISO work, you can go into, you can even, if you want to be more technical, go into system security engineering where you're actually helping the organization to put put the network together. You know, where you can go into information system security architecture and that's on a, like a grander scale of helping the whole organization build an enterprise. How much does it cost and do we have the funding for it and does it meet our requirements and do we have the proper level of encryption? What actual vendors are we going to go through? You can also do, do ethical hacking. You can go, there's many different branches because you, as an ISO, the beautiful thing about it is that you're touching so many different things that you can go super technical if you want or you can go into the management space or you can even go into like program management where you're not really doing IT stuff more like you're managing the projects of IT. So what I would do is once you get your job, once you start your work, you'll see avenues open up and doors app open up. That's what will happen when you get to your organization. You'll see these different paths open up. I would suggest like learn as much as you can. Like if they offer you you get in, you're an ISO and they say, hey, 
Hey S, would you like to help us out with doing uh, data monitoring, or would you like to help us do uh, with this scene, with the security information event manager? We need somebody to help us out with that. Or hey S, we want you to uh, help us build this firewall. Or could you look at these firewall logs? You know, sit down with us and, and help us. Anything that they do to uh, add to your resume, anything they do to add to your skill set, do it because. Everything you learn is money. That's how I think about it. And that's why I never turned any of the, these things down. And that's why I'm like, I have so many things that I've done because I don't turn the stuff down. If they say, hey, hey, Bruce, we want you to do ArcSight. Are you up for that? I'm like, yes. <laughs> and then they'll teach you. Like, that's free courses, free classes, free, you know, hands on mentorship, everything. And so I would have like two, three years of experience just doing ArcSight. I built ArcSight from scratch because I didn't turn down the experience of doing it.